Hi everyone, so today's the day I'm going to be celebrating 800,000 followers. Thank you so much. Basically, what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be having three lots of different things that I love to either go and get or go to. So first of all, we've got McDonald's breakfast because that's my favourite breakfast. Of course, we got to start with the Maccaese, which is really disrespectful to all the British people because I've been told that Maccaese is actually not even really popular over there. So it's, I guess it's just an oddity. But if you guys didn't know, Becky has hit, has hit 800,000 followers, which means there are 800... Thousand people that love seeing a big woman that filters herself so consistently um, eat high denominations of food while telling people that she's actually not as fat as she actually is. Uh, you know, it, it's not a big deal. Um, there are a lot of people that do watch her, and sometimes I go in the comment section just to see what people are saying. And usually, I'll find a few comments of people at the very top that are gonna go, uh, "Yo, Becky, uh, it's really great that you just hit 800,000 subscribers. When are you gonna start selling your farts?" When are you going to start selling your farts and sending it to me? I'll pay a premium. I'll right now. Can you please take a bath and send me that water? When are we going to have the fart, the, the cake farting compilations? I need to see you farting on cakes. And uh, you know what, dude? I think that's absolutely disrespectful that Becky wouldn't send me the first fart jar. Obviously, I am completely invested in her career choice on, 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 on letting the whole world smell the beauty that is Becky Jones's butt cheeks. No. Obviously, I would not support that. I mean, I wouldn't buy any, but if she wanted to do that, I don't know. It's like, whatever, she could do it. But 800,000 people love Becky Jones. I'm one of them. I'm a follower. I love I love the content she puts out. I think it's amazing. I think it's very well lubricated. I love the fact that she lies so, so consistency. I don't know. I think she should probably, what she should do in this room is get rid of this carpet. Because one thing I've noticed is whenever she does her workouts, right, it's very easy to see the filter filtering out her body because the, the filter can't properly crop on when it has so much texture behind it. Like when there's a wall and there's not much texture there, it does, it's fine. It's fine because it's flat, right? But the rug is very textured. So it's hard to crop it on. Sometimes it like messes up a little bit. But I'm a fan. I love Becky. I think Becky's amazing. Hashtag ship me and Becky. David and Becky sitting in a tree. Uh, eating mac case. Oh. So let's go now and then look out for the rest of my videos throughout the day of my other two places and some little celebrations. But I'm going to do my McDonald's breakfast on this video. So let's go, mac -ease. So I'm just at McDonald's now. Right, so I have. Must be a great life where you can literally just like the entire day is just open to you and you can just go to mac -ease whenever you want to. Oh, and she got the Monopoly thing. She got the Monopoly power peel. What do you guys think she's going to get from that one? Probably nothing, right? Literally nothing. You guys remember when she did that whole review and she ordered like 19 things and literally won one small fry? Got to be really disappointing, man. I've gone for... Double but you know what? I know people where I'm from that spend so much money on scratch tickets. I don't know what you guys call them over where you live, but here, in a, here where I live, they call them scratch tickets. I know people that would go into these Chinese dollar stores... Uh, sorry, these Chinese liquor stores. It's always Chinese liquor stores. Uh, I don't know why it's always predominantly Chinese people in there. Um, and sometimes you'll ask them for something behind the counter and they'll argue with you as if you didn't say what you said. No, bro. I, t I know what I said, bro. Okay. I'm not here for alcohol or anything like that. They look, they look at me like I'm weird. But anyway, sometimes they have some cool cotton candy that's like 50 cents on the rack. Uh, they haven't changed the prices in like 10 years. So it's always sometimes cool to go in there and to get the cotton candy for 50% 50 50 off. Um, they haven't caught on yet. But anyway, so like where I'm from, everybody likes to buy scratch tickets and spend so much money and they'll get so goddamn upset. Like I remember when I was growing up, there was this one guy that used to spend like hundreds of dollars a week on scratch tickets. And then every once in a while, he would eventually hit like 20 or $30. And he would come to me and my family, go, I just hit this money. I just hit all this money. It's so crazy. I'm into money. I'm into money. I'm just saying like, damn, bro, didn't you just spend like like $120 on that scratch tickets though? And yeah, they did. But it's not about that. It's about feeling the rush of winning that ticket, even though you spent literally four times more than what the ticket is worth. Anyway. Sausage Gambling's and muffin, addiction. two hash browns, well, hashy washies, hashy and a coke. She got that from Charlie Ann. Mm. And yes, I did get a coke. Of course. Look, McDonald's breakfast. Your hair is dry as hell, man. It looks greasy at the top, but dry as hell on the bottom. It's got to be my all-time favorite breakfast. That's so sad to say that. McDonald's. When I was growing up, there used to be a place where, where I first grew up, right? 
it's not there anymore because they closed it down. A bunch of yuppies moved in and they destroyed the whole community. To be honest, it's probably better than it's ever been, if I'm being honest. Like, I've gone back there and it's like such an anomaly because when I grew up, right? Um, I grew up in the projects, but I remember like where the, where the projects are now is all black people. But when I grew up in the projects, there were no black people. It was like maybe four black people in the entire projects complex that I was in. And it was a big one, right? But um, I used to think that it was amazing. It was so cultured. It was so awesome. But then like I went back there now and I was like, holy shit, it's so much better here now than it's ever been. And they used to have this 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 restaurant place that only served breakfast and it was so delicious so i've only eaten there like four times and i wanted to go back there recently because i was dating somebody and i was like i want to like i want to show you some of my culture but i went back there and i was really depressed because it wasn't there anymore sad face on me but it's okay because things change and there's probably better places now and people are more inclusive and things such and so forth and you don't have um old irish white people calling people the n-word for no reason other than just seeing them i love that Double yeah, it's really sad because um, th there should be a better place than McDonald's. And don't get me wrong, this guy is creepy as hell looking at Becky over here, dude. What are you, what are you doing, man? Why are you looking at Becky like that? Hands off, bro. Hands off the goods. Eyes off the goods. I think that there are better places to eat breakfast, obviously, than McDonald's. McDonald's is like the most low-quality restaurant out there for good reason. I mean, you're not spending a whole lot of money. Well, maybe now you're spending a whole lot of money, which is always going to be ridiculous to me. It's always... As you guys know, I go to McDonald's, not every day, but I go to McDonald's to get the McCafe. It's $1. If you have the app, technically it's 106, but it's okay. I'm willing to pay that extra six cents to Uncle Sam supporting our government. But anyway, I go in there and sometimes I wait. I wait, right, for my coffee to be brewed up. And I see people going in there and they don't have the app and they're spending so much money. I just saw a dude today get 220 pieces, a large fry, and a drink. And that dude spent... I think it was like 30 bucks, 30 something dollars. And he didn't even pull out the app or anything. And I just felt, please don't do that, bro. Let me give you the 20% off coupon, bro. Because we both benefit. I give you the 20% off, right? That means you don't have to pay 20% off. And then, and then I get all those points that you're about to be spending on all that food, on a slop ass food, by the way, because it is. Let's be honest here for a second. When you're going in to get the, the 20 McNuggets, you do know that most of that is like, I don't know, horseshoes and, I don't know, Indonesian foreskin. There's like a whole bunch of, but then again, anything that's deep fried, I'm going to die on this hill, tastes good. Everything that's deep fried tastes good. So it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Uh, I think people that really care about deep frying don't really care about what the food actually is. And they more or less just care about the batter. Because once you deep fry something for long enough in enough batter, it just becomes batter. And that's all you're eating. So... Next time when you're at that drive-thru, next time when you're ordering your food at McDonald's, just remember you're eating horseshoes, you're eating Indonesian foreskins, you're probably, it doesn't matter, literally. What they, they, you know what they could be doing? They could just be hosting like industrialized bar mitzvahs back there, okay? A whole bunch of Jewish people coming back there for their quinceañeras and they're just chopping foreskin off all day, right? They're just chopping the foreskin off. That's what you're eating. You're eating Jewish foreskin. How do you feel about that? How do you feel? Do you feel good about that? Well, you should because it is it's a beautiful thing. You're getting a little bit of you're getting a little bit of the Jewish culture in you. And that's that's beautiful. Mm. Let's see if I've won. Nope. No. Yeah, well, I mean it is what it is. You weren't gonna win, let's be honest. I haven't won today. But keep looking out for my videos. And I'm enjoying this first one, celebrating 800,000 followers. I can't, I can't imagine somebody going to McDonald's and doing nothing else under uh, after that. For me personally, right? If I'm going to like a fast food place, I'm usually just getting the food and I'm running. I'm going back to the place that I'm gonna go because I have stuff to do. For Becky, she's just sitting down casually enjoying a McDonald's meal, and that's fine but i know she's just gonna go home after this it would have been better if she just got the meal and went home but whatever dude maybe there's some kind of like value with sitting in the restaurant or something like that and watching homeless people shuffle in and then being kicked back out right after thank you so much hi everyone so my second like little treat of the day somebody let me know how many calories these costa these costa milkshakes are bro because i i'm a firm believer that these are basically just milkshakes i know that a lot of people like to think of them as coffee they're not they are most definitely milkshakes and they're high in calories so love somebody let me know um, the nutrients i would love to know how many sugars how many fats and how many calories that's the, the those are my predominant things oh and carbs too of course i thought i'd get a snack because i'm so bloated from my breakfast i got the maple um maple hazel hazel maple 
Christmas at the door. I got the maple hazel frappe oh from Costa. Why? And I also got a Wait, why are we, okay, 800,000K celebration and all you did was get food? Is there nothing else in life that you could celebrate with? Like, it, there, there's not like, oh guys, oh my God, guys, we bought a, we bought a Lego set and we're gonna do it. We're gonna, we're gonna make 800K spelled out with these giant Lego bricks. It's gonna be amazing. Or, oh no, I just adopted an animal. That's right, for 800K. There are so many things that you could have done. Instead, what you did was you sat here and you ate. That's all you did for the eight, the eight, the 800K celebration is you ate. Is that what the eight stands for? 800,000 calories and you ate. It's just, why? Why do we have so many options to eat so consistently? And if you really are secure in your body, why are you always running with that filter on max? Why that shit always gonna be smoothing down your face like your peanut butter? Billionaire slice, one of my favorites. But yeah, just thought, everything's going on right now. Just thought I'd get this. Hello, sweetness. Mm. Whatever, dude. Let's try this. I know it's nice because I've already had it. It doesn't really matter if it's nice or not. Most of this is just sugar and carbs anyway, so that's all you're going to be tasting in general. So it doesn't matter. Like, it's it's going to be just that. You're not tasting anything in particular. But I've been and got my cake and my balloons. Yes, it's a big deal. Eight a lot of people were asking if she was going to sit down on a cake before she ate it, which is, you know what, dude? Hey. That's not even that bad, dude. If you were celebrating a 800K celebration and you wanted to sit down on a cake and then eat the cake right after, listen, I've seen, I've seen people do worse. I've seen people sell foot pictures. I've seen people that have put meat in glory holes and not know what's on the other side. It's a man, by the way. You're going into, look, if you're going into the male restroom and it's a truck stop, there's lot lizards hounding at your door and you go into the bathroom to do whatever you're about to do, you see a hole in that door and you're wondering, huh, I wonder if there's a woman. No, it's a man. That's a straight man. When you feel a little bit of peach fuzz on the top of your meat, when that shit gets, uh, uh, when that shit gets slopped up, that's a man. Why would you ever think it's a woman? Like, you think a what? You think women have anything better to do? They don't have anything better than to do than to sneak into the men's restroom at a truck stop and indulge in some slimy ass trucks truck stop penis? Nah. No, it's other truckers. It's other truckers, bro. They come in there just to get their fill. They're just smelling up some meat real quick, and they are back on the road. Now, if you're thinking it's a woman, it's not. I hate to tell you guys, but if you had a glory hole and you're going into a male glory hole, it's a man. It's a solid man behind that thing. He's probably bigger than hell. He's probably big as hell. 100,000 of you. So, um, I'll show you them later. Hello, Gizzy. Gizmo's here as well. Damn. Fingers looking big. But I'll show you my balloons. I'm so... Happy with my balloons and my cake. It's something yeah, I'm... Paper straws are so fucking irrelevant, dude. Please, God, man. You know what, dude? I believe in it, man. I believe in the plastic straws. I'll die on this hill every single day. I have so many plastic straws, man. It's actually crazy, right? Like, Joe Biden's probably gonna knock on my door and tell me I'm, like, infesting the entire in environment. I'm destroying the ozone layer. But then again, he's not gonna really be saying much. He can't really talk that much anymore. But it doesn't matter. He still, you know, he still looks good for his age, right? I've never done before, like, different... This is so good though. Or oh, everyone's like, what does it taste like? But the only reason sugar, just probably sugar, right? Sweetness, that's all it is. The only way I can describe it is or to me, <laughs> like bonfire night, sticky toffee pudding, like that. Autumn yeah. sounds mm. damn. Oh, hello, baby boy. Doge. Doge does hello. look good. Good Doge. Yeah, this was my second treat of the day. I'll look out for the third one. Look. How many calories so far are we looking at, man? You all. It's takeaway night. Her face just looks so smooth with that filter. With, I hate it. We've got Charlie. Woo! Back at it again with Charlie, dude. Charlie coming over, man. Good shit. GG. Charlie don't even look bad. Oh, it's the filter. It's the filter. That's what. That's the reason why she looked better than she actually does. And you know what? It's no problem at all. Uh, I don't think Charlie even looks that bad, but that filter definitely be making people look like, what, Charlie's 28, right? She looks about 19 here. Hey, and we've got Leah. Same thing with Leah. Leah also has nothing on her face anymore. Like, it looks like it's just all, like a whole bunch of, like, I don't even know, early adults yeah, hanging out. Yeah, who has got the goods here. Um, I used to look at the telly as well. 
I love that they're actually hanging out, man. Uh, I got to keep it a buck with you, dude. Becky is not the type of person that has a lot of friends. Becky is not the type of person that spends a lot of time with friends because she doesn't have a lot. And whenever she does spend time, it's usually just her going to Mickey D's or other places like that, indulging in high calorie foods. And you know what? In general, that wouldn't even be that big of a deal if you were only doing that like once or twice a week. But for Becky, it's almost every single day. And I really appreciate that Charlie Ann and Leah have gone together and they, they've taken time to hang out together. That's awesome, dude, because Becky actually does need the friends. And I think that uh, even though they do tend to eat a lot of calories while they're together, at least they're together. You know, the friends we make along the way when we eat the Maccas and the Indians. Monday night dinner. Ah! <laughs> we went with a Archie's. Okay. Pink fries. Pink. So <laughs> I've got damn what the fuck dude that bag was dense as hell god damn I didn't think it was gonna be that big how much sausage did you guys get you should have just asked for a cup like a large cup of sauces at this point dude this is so many sauces bro would you get a, a five or six piece fries fries soda slut damn everything looked really deep fried too super deep fried they had left that thing in there for an extra hour or two what are these crinkle fries why do we go to hotels to hang out i don't understand that like why are we spending so much money like i get it if you're going to a place you've never been to before but don't these people like live here why are we going to a hotel we just don't want becky in our house because she might i don't think becky smells that bad nacho cheese sauce Chicken wrap. Damn. <laughs> it's got brie, it's got ben with seeds on it, crinkle chips, and dip. What do you mean just? That's a lot. That's a lot for a just. That's a tremendous amount, Leah. God damn. Yes. What did Becky get? This is all our food. So Becky got a burger, looks like fries. God damn, a lot of fries. Looks like a five piece, some chicken tenders. I think that's another. What is this, a cake? Becky. Becky, is that a cake? Becky, you got cake over here? Becky! Becky! You got a whole cake too? And you got an off-brand soda? Food, so I got buttermilk tenders. You get like a sesame seed bun, some crinkle cut chips, mac and cheese bites, a Ferrero Rocher shake. Oh, Give this a try first. Why are we trying to shake for, well, I guess you got to before it starts defrosting. So, okay, I get it. Go ahead, Becky. Mm. You shouldn't have got it in general though. There are other things on the menu, like nothing. Style oh wow that it, is not it's just whatever it's just sugar i'm sick of these people thinking that it's so so fucking good it's just sugar okay let's just be honest it's banana sugar. in it as well right. it's, it's not banana mm. it's try a tender mm. oh i'm gonna try one of these as well try one of these as well Lou. dip that in there i love these can you imagine having friends only because you guys eat disgusting foods together usually like when i'm making friends right because i have other passions in life you might see i have buttersworth back there i have st i have a whole bunch of surp ladies so maybe i can get friends from other people that really love surp ladies or people like star wars obviously i can get friends from people like dragon ball i got people that that like playing Yu Gi Oh. i have a whole bunch of interests that i know that other people also have interest from and i can get friends from those particular demographics for becky it just seems like i don't think she has many many things going on and so i guess the only friends that she has to make are probably just people that eat as well which is very depressing very very depressing there should be other people in your life that do more than just munch down on really deep fried barren br brown foods consistently why is everything you eat so brown? Everything. It's just so Neapolitan. Everything, bro. <sighs> Including everybody in this room. All tanned through the roof. Increasing their increasing their melanin by like a good 30% on any given... I, 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 I swear to God, like a regular black guy wearing these tanners would just make them invisible. Mmm. Guys, try my cheese sauce. They are good. I'm going to try it with the Archie sauce. This is like, they are so frinkly. You know when your boyfriend is like, so, so babe, so babe, when you and your girlfriends are like hang out, right? What do you guys like do? You? What do you guys do? You? Do you guys like, you know, pillow fight? And then she goes, oh my God, stop it. No, we don't do that. We just eat terrible, disgusting amounts of fast food. Greasy fast foods. And we let the we let the sauce spill all over. We tan each other. Oh my God, it's glorious. Absolutely gorgeous. That's what it actually is. They're not scissoring. They're eating takeout and a lot of it. Really? 
This ranch dip as well, guys, is amazing. Absolutely really crinkly, oh this is going to fall. Ah! Put it in your mouth. It's so good. in your mouth. So I put heavy. some of my chicken tender in the burger bun. <laughs> Let's give this a whirl. Mm. So this shake has actually got banana in it as well. And it's just... It's so and, and you didn't know, though? Like, you didn't know that it had banana in there when you ordered it? Is it just a random banana that they threw in? Or what do you mean? Like, how did you not know it had banana? Different, but it works together. Most shakes do have banana because it show. Okay, whatever, bro. Mm. So my third treat of the day is Miller and Carter. Of course, I love it here. So let me show you what I got. So someone suggested having three of my favorite things in Why? one day to celebrate 800k. Who is that somebody, bro? Please, God. Somebody that doesn't care about you, man. You could have done anything else. Instead, you went out to eat all day. And you know what? I don't care that it has little green leaves on it. It's still too high in calorie. I would rather you lick the brim of this of this lamp right here and hope a genie comes out so you can ask him to lo lower your weight and your blood pressure than eating this food. Why do you put yourself in these scenarios so often? Hi. So my last celebration for it was a nice meal at Miller and Carter. By yourself? My starter, I got Chipotle. To sit there and say my starter is crazy, dude. Chipotle chicken with some sourdough. That cheese looks, is that cheese? Why does that cheese look like dough? Like, why does it look like, I don't know, like melted crayons? Bread and the butter with this oh, is bread butter. is honestly the nicest I butter I've ever tasted. It's like salty. Oh, it doesn't look like, it doesn't look like butter at all. Why does it look like that? It and it's I'd so say it's yellow. got a hint of peri peri, but I don't think it has. <laughs> then for my main. Wouldn't, that, wouldn't it be funny if that was just wax that they had left on the table and she was just like, oh my god, I have to eat it. And of course, we gotta get the double, the double cheese with the french fry. God damn, Becky, you don't care about yourself at all? I went for a beef burger. I got it with. Okay, just to, just to clarify. Whenever somebody says beef burger, you don't have to say that, okay? You do have to say it when it's something else. So when somebody says, I want a burger, everybody knows automatically that you're talking about a beef burger. If you say, I want a chicken burger, that makes sense. You understand? Like, everybody knows naturally when you say burger, you're talking about this. Everybody knows that. Out bacon, so they gave me an extra patty. They, you you told them no bacon, no bacon, so they put on an extra patty, huh? So, that don't make sense, Becky. Why are you lying? You asked for a double. Just say it. Just say it, dude. You wanted a double cheeseburger, and you told them, double it. Take off the bacon. I don't need the bacon. Double the burger. That's what I need real quick in my mouth. Why are you lying? Why are you lying? Why you got to lie to us? We all know the truth. We know that you love meat. We know that you love meat in your mouth. You don't have to lie. You don't got to lie. It's all good. We all know the truth, Becky. I did end up taking some of the cheese off because it just felt like there was loads of cheese on it. Yeah, well, as you guys know, Becky does not like cheese, even though she tells us, even though she tells us she doesn't like cheese, everything that she orders always somehow finds uh, random pieces of cheese on it. Like this random, I don't even know what this is. Just like the the chef, I guess, put a little cheese on the side and he just like slid it off on his, on his finger right there. Becky always does that though. She always goes, guys, I don't like cheese. Cheese is gross. And then I always see her eat it. But I always get a Miller and Carter burger. I tried to pour my chips. Yeah, that burger looked dry as hell. Damn, that burger is dry as fuck. Damn, man. Why is it so dry? As I'm looking at that shit, I'm, I'm looking for some water. Damn, bro. Wouldn't they cook that shit in sand? It sounds so cutesy then, and they just all fell everywhere. But this burger Damn. was absolutely huge. Damn. But I've had the most amazing day celebrating... And you just can't beat a Miller and Carter to end off the celebrations. You could have just not And again, done it. a big thank you to anybody that's congratulated Ooh. me. Oh, man. I Even the meat was trying to run away. Look at the meat end patty off the trying celebrations. to run away there. And again, a Peep big thank patty. you to anybody that's congratulated me. I love you all so much. Hi, everyone. And welcome to my white in a day. So for my breakfast, I am back on my Weetabix phase with a dollop of Nutella in. Oh, 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 Becky. Becky, 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 what is this? Why are you doing this, man? How you I, how do you continuously always fuck up no matter what you eat? Can we please stop using a filter, man? That shit's really fucking annoying at this point, dude. Damn, she just let that shit slop right on top of her, man. So Look for my that. breakfast, I am back on my Weetabix phase with a dog. I would think somebody that eats as much as Becky would be better at eating, but nah. 
sparkle up of Nutella in, of course. And the warmed up. Don't knock it until you try it. Then for dinner, I went out to the harvester for my mum and dad's anniversary meal with the family. Who goes out, first of all, it's my anniversary, right? I don't want my kids around. Am I wrong? Maybe I'm wrong on that. But usually when people celebrate their anniversary, they're not bringing friends around. They're usually going with you and the other person that you're having the anniversary with, right? Am I wrong? I don't want my kids around. I want to just have it with the person I'm anniversarying it with. Of course, you get the unlimited salad. I guess maybe it's just an excuse to just to go out to eat, maybe. I don't know, bro. Maybe convince his mom, her mom and your dad. I don't know. So I had some bread rolls, pasta, cucumber, tomato, and potato salad. Then for my main, I went with a barbecue Damn, chicken. This is your main? What was the one before? Go out and a peri peri one. It came on a flatbread with some chips. I've got to say the peri peri one Damn. was probably my favorite. It came with extra sauce, Damn. but it definitely had Crunch a kick bar to it anyway. Too, Becky? And then look what I found in B&M. Where did you find it? Out of a child's mouth? Where the hell did you get that shit? Why did you have it? Where did you? Why? A crunch you just went out to eat. You don't need a crunch bar. You just went out to eat. Bar, but in like... In a place that you didn't even need to go. It was your parents' anniversary. A wafer bar. Oh, they are amazing. God, and a cake? And a cake, too? Oh, my God, Becky. What are you doing? You just don't give a fuck about yourself at all? This is just, like, your life now? Amazing. Definitely recommend to try. Why are you... Why are you fisting? Why are you fisting the cake? Why didn't you use the knife, Becky? Oh, you can't do anything right. Why the fuck would you have your hands on the cake, man? Then I cut my cake. I did a terrible job cutting it, but it's fine. It's so tasty. I absolutely love it when we get these cakes made. What do you mean these? How many times have you gotten this cake made? What do you mean I love it when we get these cake made? How, how many times have you done this, Becky? It shouldn't be this often, right? You only sell it. Dude. You just ate 800K, right? The last time you celebrated a milestone was last month. What do you, how many times are you getting this cake? We've always used the same lady and she's just fantastic. Then I was feeling a little bit oh peckish. Oh my God. And I was gonna go and get a Mackey's and I thought, no, I'll have some boiled pasta. I literally had plain pasta with some chicken fingers. Yeah, that's really fucking sad. Cause I know that Becky knows how to cook, but she's like, plain pasta, like whatever, bro. If you were starving, like I get it, but there are ways to make that more tolerable, man. I did have tomato sauce as well on the side, but I didn't really use it, but I honestly love this sometimes. Love you all. It's Nando's fakeaway oh, night. God. Here is my- Oh my God, Becky. My Nando's fakeaway. So we've got the chicken here to go on the burgers. We've got some spicy rice. We have some corn on the cob. Some salad, coleslaw, we've got garlic aioli and Nando's Pyrenees, and then some homemade garlic bread. I can't wait. Well, at least it's for everybody, right? Am I wrong? This gotta be for at least everybody, unless she's eating this shit all at once. Damn, you got how much cocoa pebbles you need? Damn! What are two big ass boxes of that shit? This is beyond family size, bro. This is this is like village size. Damn, that shit's big as fuck. Wait to tuck in. So let's dish it out together, guys. So first yeah. of all, we've got our burger buns. Now, I've got brioche ones. I have toasted them slightly, but we don't really like them too toasted. Just... Okay, so first of all, what I'm going to put on is the Nando's Pyrenees. Oh, okay. What has everybody else got? It's raining now. I'm going to put some lettuce on. Now, I didn't get any cheese. I think that's the only now. thing I've forgotten, but... I can't remember if you get cheese on Nando's burgers. You could just Google it. My tomato, tomatoes look amazing. It's one of them beef tomatoes, love it. Love it. Then we've got the chicken. Okay, damn. Big now it's not piece. exactly like Nando's chicken, but it will do. And what I'm gonna do as well, I'm just going to cut, because we've all got a bit of another chicken breast because there was too many chicken breasts. Why do you need so extra? Well. What? Why do you need extra? A garlic aioli on the lid. Because I love this. Love it. Damn, big as fuck. Look at that. Big. Then I've got a rice, which I'm just going to leave on like that. Like the whole bowl wouldn't. to yourself? Damn, what about your family? You going to have the whole thing to yourself, bro? Does each, does everybody get their own bowl? God damn, Becky, bro. You can't just be taking the whole thing for yourself. That's a serving bowl. We've got some garlic bread, homemade garlic bread. But you already got the bread for the done, burger. Done enough, but it'll be absolutely fine. It'll still be just as tasty. Don't think I. I don't think it really matters at this point if it tastes good, right? 
this is all about quantity over quality. You're just eating just to fill a hole at this point. Like, you don't have taste buds. And I'm sick of people saying that she does. None of the food is actually registering in her mouth at this point. She's just eating for the sensation. Just for the, the hormones to, like, fire off in her brain because she's getting that food in her mouth. She, that's it. That's literally it. There's no other way. Nobody can convince me otherwise. I think it's going to fit on. <laughs> We've got some coleslaw. Yeah, you know why it's not going to fit on, Becky? Because these plates, even though they're massive and they have tons and tons of space, they're still not supposed to incorporate all of this. It's not supposed to be this much, Becky. You literally have two sides. Which is for everybody. Three sides, my B. Damn, this is for everybody as she proceeds to eat half of it. Isn't that bowl the same size as this bowl right here in front of us? Aren't these like the both same bowls? I could be wrong. Corn. Corn, of course, yeah. Could it fit in? I think that'll fit on. I knew a girl that used to have a corn uh, dildo. She said it was delightful. Look at that. I don't know anything about that because I'm not putting shit in my ass. Fernando's fake way. Let me show you a close-up. Here is the close-up. So we've got the burger, the spicy rice, the corn, garlic bread and coleslaw. Let's go and tuck in. Let's tuck in to the garlic bread. Some spicy rice. I always spill something. Look, at I'm it. pretty sure the filter also brightens her teeth, so I see the food sometimes getting brighter as well. This guy's when she puts it in her mouth. Tottenham just scored again, and um, but let me know what you've all got for tea tonight, and I hope you've had a great Sunday. Damn, you is too much. Hi everyone, happy Monday. I've come to meet my friend at Tim Hortons in Sealand. I don't know what drink to get, but I also want a donut as well, I think. <laughs> should I? Should I not? No, you shouldn't. And you shouldn't even be going out to different restaurants and stuff like that, Becky. But at least she's meeting friends. I think we should. I'm literally right outside Tim Hortons because it's pouring down. Right, okay, so I've met Blake. Say hi, Blake. Huh. Hubba hubba, um, Becky, dude, meeting up with the menses. Yeah, this is this is a solid old, I mean, not an old aged man, but this is a guy probably in his 30s, right? And this filter makes him look like he's 14, man. Why is it? Man, I, I just don't, this is one of the reasons I, I feel like this would give me body dysmorphia. Like, this would make me think differently of myself so consistently, dude. Like, his mustache and his beard are actually being, like, cropped out because of the, the slimming filter or, like, the smoothing filter. Why, like, why, Becky? Why you gotta do this shit so consistently, dude? Hey, Blake. <laughs> but you know what? It's cool that she has friends. I don't know, maybe, maybe a little bit more than friends. Who knows? We're gonna wait and see, dude. I'm interested in seeing what Blake has to say about Becky. He looks like a good, good looking guy. Good looking guy. Very cute. <laughs> not in a gay way. Got... Not in a gay way. Not because I think he's attractive. I mean, he is attractive, but not for me. Like, I'm not gay. And I don't think that he's gay either. So it wouldn't even apply. The... I'm not gay. What was it? Caramel s'mores. Hot chocolate. Caramel s'mores. Hot chocolate. This has melted a little bit. And then you get a hash brown. And I got a sausage and egg McMuffin. Damn. 50p. How does it, how does it, how does it feel knowing that you got, you got more than your boy over here? That's crazy as fuck. Each. So that was one pound for them, Tim. What did you get, Blake? I got the s'mores last night. Ooh. And the breakfast wrap. Hunch brown. And a few little s'mores. Oh, oh there. yeah, they look nice, Sam. Hash brown. Mmm. <laughs> 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 Having oh gosh, friends is fun. hash brown on the muffin. Let's give this a try. Dang. Mm. But at least she's having Let's fun. Let's try. At least she's having fun. At least she's out with the with the with a friend. At least she's doing stuff. Ooh. Oh, that's really nice. It's got biscoff caramelized crumb as well. I just couldn't there be something else that you and your new boyfriend do? I know a lot of people are gonna sit there and say, David, are you jealous? Yes, I'm super jealous. I thought me and Becky were gonna be together forever. We're gonna ride off the sunset with our Mackey's horse, and we're gonna have Corey and Leah in the in the in the contrails going, Yes, oh my god, guys. Oh my god, guys, I cannot believe it. David and Becky sitting in a tree eating Mackey's. Can't believe it. Yes, I'm very, I'm very upset. No. Really happy for Becky. If she does find a boyfriend, I don't think that I've ever seen her date. So this is a new thing for her. I don't know. It seems like that cruise did more than just give her food. Maybe it increased the social ability a little bit. I have to give an in-depth review, Blake, because... There is no... That's so offensive to say that 
Becky does in-depth reviews. Her her in-depth reviews are literally, oh my god, it tastes so good. It's so, oh my god, it's so delightful. I love it. I love that. There's no in-depth reviews. There's no consistency. There's no how much it costs. There's no the, the texture of it. There's no, oh, this is this is like what it gave to me. There's none of that, okay? She doesn't bother doing any of that stuff. It's not an actual food review. It's just her eating food and her saying something nice about it usually. I'm not very good about reviews, so um, yeah. what does yours taste like? <laughs> you, you, you caramel thing. Mm. It is good though. Blake's kindly give me one of his. Car he only had two of these. Right? I only saw two in the bag. So you're eating half of his shit? Becky, you already had your own food. Why you gotta why you gotta smuggle over his? Did he give this to you or you just take that shit? Caramel schmore Timbit, so let's have a try. Caramel schmore. Boom. Mm. Caramel inside, Blake. Well, it's called the caramel, right? It, it that's one of the main ingredients. Caramel schmore. yes. Yes, that is true. That yes, Becky, oh. thank you. It's good. It's a KFC fake away tonight. Damn. Look at night this. Night after night, Becky, you've been having these. This one table needs to remove from her house, man. This table right here where she does her spreads, uh, it just needs to stop. This just needs to stop. I'm sick of seeing her spreads as consistently as she does, okay? Literally every other day, there's a new spread. And it's it's too often. Too much food, Becky. God damn. What is this, bro? Chicken tenders. I think different types of chicken tenders. Chicken wings. Two different types of french fries, Nando's bread or whatever that is, corn, and I think that's beans? I think that's beans. This, guys. And that's uh, We've got something. the chicken, fiery chicken chunks, some chicken tenders, some crinkle cut chips, some dipper chips. Just for you? Bread, In corn, your mouth? Barbecue beans, hickory barbecue wings, sriracha rings, we've got southern fried gravy, and just perinese. What are we putting the gravy on, though? Do we put gravy on chicken tenders? Do we put gravy on BBQ chicken? I've never heard of that, dude. I've never seen anybody put gravy on BBQ chicken. You better watch your <laughs> mouth when you're talking to me like that. We have enough. Got a lot going on on here, guys. Right. Like using the plates. Big I ass plate. That's just bigger than the serving dish right there. The cutting board. Right. First of all, we're going to go in with... Just a pit of bread. Okay. On there. Good it's start. Fine. Then our chicken tenders, which I'm looking forward to trying. It's good as well, because okay, you can just keep it down. out. If you want more later, okay, you calm can. down. Just give it a warm up. God damn, Becky. You got to calm the fuck down. There's plenty on the plate. All right? You, you're good. You're good. I right? just leave some for the rest of us. All right, dude? You got to chill the fuck back. There's, there's a lot of food here. And the plate, even though it's real big, you somehow managed to make it real small. You got to calm the fuck down a little bit. In the air fryer. Yo. I've already tasted one. Yo. Very fiery. <laughs> Becky. Okay. Becky. One. Which I'm gonna pop. On oh top my of that. god. I love chicken wings. Oh. Right. Some crinkle chips. How much? How much we doing? I think we're uh, gonna have to put. Oh, the cut was big. The cut is real big. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Is so much. That up there like that. She gotta move shit around to make more room for the food. She didn't, man. These plates are already big as hell. How you make them this small, so I can man? Put my wings on, right? And then the Two different wings. types of chicken is crazy. I'm just looking forward to. I don't even know which flavors. Three I'm different getting. types, might be. But I know I'm gonna probably. How many? Like... How many chickens do you think this is right here, dude? Are we just eating like five chickens tonight? Come on, so we're fine. Damn. Barbecue beans on. I've never had barbecue beans. Oh, I tried to make barbecue beans myself. Yeah, it's a lot. You're taking a lot, Becky. There's other so, people that are eating, right? Hoping that we can pour it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, Becky. So, here it is. Yes, it's very beige, but it is fine. Let's go and talk it. That's her entire, that's her entire diet is just really brown food. I've, I've noticed it. You've all noticed it. It's all brown. Guys, I'm so looking forward to talking in. Let's have a taste. We put, we put the... The gravy on chicken tenders? Mmm. And beans. Dip this in the gravy. Crunchy. Mmm. Gravy's amazing as well. These are so nice. At least it's crunchy. Chicken wing. These chips are good for like little scoopers. Love them. But let me know what you've all got. They're not supposed well. to. They're supposed to be just chips. Anyway, guys, that's the end of the video, dude. I don't know what's going on with Becky recently, dude. Ever since she did that video, 
of her, her telling people that she was going to get that weight loss surgery. It seems like she just like completely 180 that. And she was like, nah, since I'm not getting that weight loss surgery, let me go all out of my diet and just fuck shit up. Let me just body slam literally anything and everything I could possibly find. Ever since the... The cruise, she's gotten a little bit better, though, when it comes to social interactions. I have noticed that she has put a little bit more time, a little bit more effort in being around other people, which is really, really good. So I guess there was a, 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 a pro to that, besides, I guess, eating copiously large amounts of food, 33,000 calories worth of food, 8,000 calories a day's worth of food. But also the friends we made along the way, her hanging out with Leah and her hanging out with Cherry Ann. That's amazing. That's beautiful. I'm happy for them. I am actually happy for them. That's actually really, really great. But... Uh, it seems like her diet's just not improving, and that sucks a lot of dick. But anyway, guys, um, I appreciate you guys watching today's video. If you enjoyed today's video, I appreciate if everybody could leave a like, comment, subscribe on the video. I appreciate all that stuff. I I really do. Thank you so much if you do any of that. Um, really appreciate it if you could like the video. Uh, if you watch the video in its, in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in chicken because Becky just ate like fucking four or five chickens in that one like last video right there. And I'm not even joking about that either. I'm pretty sure she did eat like five chickens there. But that's, I guess, a normality for somebody like Becky. Isn't it crazy how we can just eat whole ass animals nowadays? It's pretty crazy. But anyway, um, you're a beautiful person. I really think that you are beautiful. I really do. Uh, the other night when I was licking the back of your kneecap, I realized something. That it was very well contoured. I could taste the muscle fibers. I could taste your beautifulness up across the leg. And when I say I was licking the back of your kneecap, I mean metaphorically speaking. Um, I mean like in the astral realm, I was licking your back of the ankle uh, and your kneecap too. It was very good. It was very delectable. I really loved it. It was my favorite thing about the entire day. Thank you for having such a delectable back of the knee. Very delicious. You are very well lubricated today. Thank you so much. Appreciate the, the delicacy of your leg. Anyway, uh, if you want to check out my social medias, it'll be listed down below. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. 